All right, Saggies, I'm here to do your reading. I gotta read the lyrics for this one. Um, Just Friends, Olivia O'Brien. Um, so I'm like, how Sagittarian are these lyrics where it's like, cause I, I want you here, but I don't want the strings attached cause I don't know how long will last. I want you here, I just like having you around. But I don't want to be held down because you and I were just friends. We're just friends. Um, so, Sag. Also, you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about the Miley Cyrus song that just came out. Um, Miley Cyrus is a whole Sag vibe. Uh, especially with the song like, you know, I was born to run. I don't belong to anybody. Um, so I feel like you guys are going through some kind of energy in which you're just like not wanting to be pinned down. And I feel like you're with somebody or involved with somebody who's maybe wanting to put you in a little bit of a cage. We don't put Saji in a cage, okay? Uh, bottom of the deck energy, we got the Queen of Wands. Of course we do. Of course we do. You guys are feeling on your game it's like one of those things where if you're like and this could be your present energy could be that you got nothing no action um but it's like that freaking thing that happens when like you go from having no one to like everybody wants you so it's like oh well now i don't want to commit to one person because i've got all these different options um, that never ends well, though. That never ends well, I've noticed. Anyways, I feel like you guys are in your full-on, fiery, passionate energy right now. You're not looking to settle down with the wrong person. So until you find that person who's worth it, who's worth giving up all the rest, then you're not going to just settle down with somebody who's wrong for you, somebody who kind of cages you. So I feel like you are going to be in this really vibrant energy. And because of that, sometimes people get scared and they want to like, they want to put you in a cage so that you're like not getting a, any ideas and leaving them. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. You're setting a lot of boundaries right now. Uh, and realize like when we're talking about this, like this is all like, being in that high vibration, being in that energy, when you are in your full power, it's like you're just radiant. That doesn't even matter, Sag or any sign. It's like being in that high vibration, it's going to magnetize whoever. It's going to magnetize ab abundance, love, all those things. So really becoming that clear channel, really radiating your maximum energy. Anyways, overall energy between you and another person. We've got the Ten of Cups. Okay. 360. Um, 180 or whatever. Because Ten of Cups. Um, you're feeling very emotionally fulfilled. I'll tell you that much. Let's see. Ten of Cups. Uh -huh -huh. Three of Swords. The Star card. Interesting. Interesting here. Interesting here. All right, let, let's break this down, Sag. You're dealing with somebody who, let's just say, just a friend, but I think you're waiting for somebody who is soulmate. You're waiting for that soulmate, wishing for that soulmate. Um, so in a sense, you are in a third party situation, third party, but I think that the other energy isn't physically present. I think they're just mentally present. Like, they're mentally present, and I do feel like, in a sense, this person who is maybe involved with you um, feels, feels, they know, they know that you are not mentally fully theirs. Um, and I think you are, you're kind of healing through this person. You're healing through this person, this friendship. Uh, I do feel like you're very direct about it though, but I do think that you're trying, like you're, there's somebody else, there's somebody else you're waiting for. So let's see, Ace of Cups, New Beginnings, um, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, okay, here we go, 
here we go. Um, here's the thing, Sag. I think that your intuition is telling you this person's coming back in. And I think you're right. I think this person's coming back in to communicate. This is that person that you feel that you will probably marry, that you will probably be with. Um, but you've been kind of doing your thing because you know. And I do feel like you know that, like, that's always what happens. That's like, I don't even have to be psychic to know that the minute you move on or the minute you start involving yourself with somebody else, those people come back into your life. Uh, it's because we detach our energy, right? But I think that you just see this person that you're currently involved with and you just know. You're like, you're not my person. You're not my person, and it might be weighing on you now because maybe this person's, of course, pursuing something unavailable. They want more with you, but I don't think you have it in you. I think you're still waiting for this other person. Um, let's see, Ace of Cups here. Ace of Cups. And I'm getting this vibe of, like, is this person even coming? Like, I think you have these moments where you're like, really distraught because you're like is this person even coming four of swords yeah 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 you're safe what's that song it's like saving all my love for you um that's how i'm feeling like you're saving your love for this person but i think part of you is like are they even coming like you've been feeling this intuitive feeling for a while like is this person even coming knight of swords here Knight of Swords. Who's this Knight of Swords? The Page of Swords. They've been watching. They've been watching. Um, they've been watching. And the Knight of Swords is somebody who rushes in with communication here, right? And there's like, they, they want to come in passionately. This person has some willpower, though, because they've been kind of just watching. Um, and I do think that it what triggers them is seeing you you with somebody else but I feel like they still intuitively feel you have not released them so a good thing to do is some cord cutting some release stuff because in that way we like free ourselves from whatever codependent connections we have um, but this person does keep an eye on you mind you that they keep an eye on you the death card that's that cord cutting I'm telling you you want this person to come back in, you're going to have to do some cord cutting um, and, like, release the need for them to come back in. S sounds contradictive, counter, or contradictive, whatever. Um, but it's what's needed here. The Hermit card and the Justice card. Look at all that major arcana. Virgo energy. We've got Scorpio on the table and we've got a Libra on the table. Um, let's see what this death card is. What's this death card doing? This death card. Um, you here? Death card, page of wands. I think you have to, you're going to have to do, because there's a lot of, like, internal work. You guys have both, you and this other person, this other person you're waiting on, have had to do some internal work person's in the process of balancing out their life, making some decisions. I think that there's going to be some form of communication that comes in. Yes. Yes, I do. I do. Um, Eight of Pentacles. It's like they're working up the nerve to do so, though. But I still think from your part, you need to cut that cord. You need to heal some codependent stuff that you have. Release this person. Um, release this person and when you do so I know it sounds difficult and it sounds like contradictive as to like I want this person to come back in why would I release them but when you free up that energy it releases that codependency that you have and it kind of heals you it heals you so in order to get this like to materialize this because in their mind they're thinking a lot about it they're narrowing down what it would be to say to you but they have to materialize this into the real world uh there's some kind of confusion in regards to them i think that you communicate telepathically i do um but there's some blockage here that it can't manifest in the real world 
Uh, so again, cord cutting, transformation, change, um, removing blockages, you know? So even, even like in regards to this friendship that you have, if you're using it as like a codependency thing, like I just don't want to be alone, but I don't want to be with this person, um, realize that that's racking up some karma as well. That's racking up some karma as well. So in order to like heal and to kind of manifest what it is that you're wanting into your life, you have to be whole and complete. And that's going to be in like healing that, that, and being okay on your own. Being like, you know, uh, you know, difficult stuff. Hangman. The hangman, the eight of cups, and the lover's card. I do see there is this, uh, obviously, Gemini energy here. Um, this need for walking away from what no longer serves you, seeing something from a different perspective. You have to look from, you, you, there has to be, you guys have to cord cut, cord cut, and especially with this three of cups, like you have to clear out this energy, um, really be able to self-express as well, like look at your Look at your emotions and your feelings from a different perspective and look at all the situations in your life from a different perspective because there's some kind of significance about this like this other person that you're dealing with um, that they're, it's not fair. It's not fair to this person and if you've ever felt like this other person, the one that you're waiting for has been selfish with you. Kind of look at all the ways that maybe you're selfish in your own life or with your own energy and feelings. There's just this need for massive self-awareness right now, Sag. Um, and, and moving away from just fears and thoughts and things that no longer serve you. Doing a lot of cord cutting. Um, because there needs to be, you know, a clearing of the toxic energy here. The lover's card. The lover's card is showing me that there's still love here. There's still love. There's still passion. There's still emotion. I think what you're intuitively feeling about this person coming forward towards you, totally on point. But there's things that you still need to heal and move away from that this person energetically still can't come. You're not on the same timeline. Um, but this person's watching. They're waiting. They're waiting for the opportune time. You're both very tapped into each other's energy. That's why you feel them so strongly because they are watching you. But there's something and like maybe intuitively you will know what that is. There's something that you need to end once and for all. There's something you need to let go of once and for all. And it's going to free up the energy. It's going to free up the energy. And then you just have to trust that what's coming in is going to come in. Look, I didn't even pull Oracle cards. So let's get three Oracle cards for Sag, especially in regards to the situation. Be decisive. Um, trust the divine plan. See, I knew that one was going to come out. Okay. Because um, I do feel like you're very wishy-washy with this person. Claim your art. So a lot of that is what I said about um, the perspective on your self-expression, kind of owning your self-expression owning your wants, owning your desires, um, and kind of just living in that, living in that truth, because there's something here, it's not congruent with this other person, you know it, but you're still holding on to it, um, and there's this need to be really honest with yourself, be really honest with this person, and kind of release, and do a lot of releasing in regards to that, and it's like, this is a lesson you have to learn. And you have to be able to make decisions. But I do feel that energy present. So I do, I do feel what you're feeling in the sense of like, you know, I've been feeling this for so long, but is this going to come in? But it's contingent on like, you have to do the work. There's something you haven't fully let go of. There's something you haven't released. And you need to in order to have things unfold the way that they're meant to unfold. And you just have to trust that when you do the work, 
everything is going to fall into place the way that it is supposed to. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, Sag. I hope this resonated. In the Ascended, I will look into more of what this person's deal is. Let's see what it is that they're wanting to communicate. Um, let's look at what happens unexpectedly for you. Advice from Spirit as well as what is blocking you from moving forward. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box. I will see you guys there. Bye.